listen to me, you hillbilly punk who thinks the world's still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Mark Sargent, and this is a quick little video called Flat Earth Invades Science Classes Because of Kyrie Irving. And originally, the article was posted by NPR this morning about middle schoolers who were arguing with their science class teacher because they believe what Kyrie Irving believes, that the Earth is flat. And immediately... <laughs> I'm talking only within hours. Everybody else picked up on it. I'm looking just the, down here at the headlines. Washington Post, Rolling Stone Magazine, Yahoo Sports, For the Win, Sporting News, Sports Illustrated, Total Pro Sports, SB Nation, so on and so on. So I'm going to read the article, and I'll, I'll put a big clip there for you, called, this is from Yahoo Sports, called Kyrie Irving's Flat Earth Belief is Making a Middle School Teacher's Job Difficult. It goes a little something like this. Kyrie Irving has had a busy 2017. Just this past month, he requested a trade away from the three-time defending Eastern Conference champions. Since, he reportedly won't talk to anyone from the Cavaliers organization and hasn't exactly put himself on good terms with the people of Cleveland. But all that July craziness has made us forget how Kyrie Irving started off the year by suggesting, with apparent sincerity, that the Earth is flat. Yeah. Remember that? Irving doubled down on the theory too, despite it being flat out wrong. The stupidest NBA story of the calendar year worked itself into such a frenzy that even NBA commissioner Adam Silver was asked about it. The internet could not get enough of it. And yet, while we laughed about Irving's belief at the time, there's a serious side to the story too. Irving is a public figure, one whom a lot of young kids look up to. And he was publicizing pseudoscience, lending apparent credibility to something that deserves absolutely nothing of the sort. And there are consequences to that. Real, harmful, frightening consequences. From an NPR story on the ongoing battle between science teachers and fake news. As hard as they try, science teachers aren't likely to change a student's misconceptions just by correcting them. Middle, middle school teacher Nick girl says his students got the idea of a flat planet from basketball star Kyrie Irving, who said as much on a podcast. And immediately, I start to panic. How have I failed these kids so badly? They think the Earth is flat just because a basketball player says it. He says he tried reasoning with the students and showed them a video. Nothing worked. They think that I'm part of a larger conspiracy of being a round earther. That's definitely hard for me because it feels like science isn't real to them. The circus surrounding the Irving story probably didn't help. Irving's fellow NBA players didn't unequivocally deny his theory. They had fun with it too. Others, like Shaquille O'Neal, joked that they agreed with Kyrie, except that nobody knew it was a joke until O'Neal later clarified. That Irving's belief is influencing grade school students is honestly kind of scary, especially in a time when pseudoscience and fake narratives have frequently been disseminated by American politicians and have heavily influenced elections on the nation's governance. Girls' class, the one mentioned in the NPR story, probably isn't unique either. His students can't be the only ones who have developed similar theories thanks to Irving. The NBA Flat Earth stories were fun in the moment, not so much anymore. That's the end of the article. Anyway, guys, enjoy, do your own research, stay flat.